My name is Rod Soler and I'm speaking with Mr. Alex Short, consultant ophthalmologist at his clinic on Harley Street. Now if you're in your later 40s or early 50s, you may have noticed some of the early signs of aging eyes and what ophthalmologists call presbyopia. So I'm going to be talking to Alex now about a new procedure called Presbyond that effectively uses laser eye surgery to cure the effects of aging eyes. How are you doing, Alex? Hi, Rod. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So let's first, if you could, introduce the concept of Presbyon yeah. to me um, so that we can understand a little bit about what it treats, uh, what's causing these, yeah. and how to get rid of them. Okay. So uh, what happens to the eye as it ages is that our natural lens that we're born with gets stiffer with, with age. And that's because the protein that it's made up with has been with us our whole lives. It's 40, 50 years old. And that protein is no longer as flexible, as elastic as it was. And what I'm specifically talking about here is I'm talking about the lens of the eye, which is inside the eye here. And it sits just behind our iris. And, and this lens is with us from the moment we're, we're formed in, 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 in our mother's uh, womb. And the lens stiffens with time. And this stiffening prevents us from doing this focusing in and out. Mm -hmm. So although our distance vision remains absolutely stable, when we want to move the lens and bring our vision closer, it, we're no longer able to do that. And it typically starts from age you know, 45 onwards that patients begin to get symptoms of this. And it normally starts very, very, very subtly, where we used to be able to read our phone here, but now it's here. Mm -hmm. And it's really only when you get beyond this distance that we really begin to, to notice it. So that's presbyopia, and we have a, a variety of, of treatment options now for it. So in the past, your only option would have been to wear reading glasses, right. and that would have been it. Um, and traditionally, everyone thinks that, oh, you can't have laser eye surgery mm -hmm. for, for reading glasses. It mm -hmm. doesn't work. It only corrects your distance vision. And that is absolutely correct until about eight to nine years ago when we, did, we, we, we first saw treatments come along to enable us to use laser to correct both the reading distance and the distance vision. Right. So the, these treatments, what they are, is they're a version of LASIK. Okay. And LASIK is the most common form of laser eye surgery. And with LASIK, what we do is we use a laser to sculpt and to change the shape of this, the cornea, and by doing that, we change the focus of the eye. Now, for someone like you, what I would do is I, someone in their early 40s, uh, mid 40s, uh, who's having the first symptoms of this and starting to need reading glasses, they absolutely could continue with their reading glasses if, if that's what they want. But mm -hmm. if they're looking to have a vision correction procedure, get rid of the need to wear glasses, I would recommend this treatment called a Presbyon Blasic. Okay. What it does is, is a laser eye surgery procedure performed in both eyes. The dominant eye, that's the eye that our brain prefers to use, we use the laser to focus this for the distance into intermediate range. So that's into television or computer range, okay? All in focus with our dominant eye. The non-dominant eye, uh, we use the laser and we focus it to be in focus from the intermediate range, that's computer, television range, in to really close up. Right. What the brain then does, it places the two visions over each other. The eyes are matched in the intermediate range, which is the range we use most. But when we go to look off miles in the distance, the dominant right eye can see more clearly and takes over. But when we go to read up close, the non-dominant eye then, uh, the brain uses that vision in preferentially. And this, this is, it's, it's a very a clever way of, of providing all those three ranges of vision, but by using a very subtle mismatch between the eyes. So I've heard something similar to this that some surgeons recommend, and uh, at other times I've heard it done with through contact lenses, which is something called monovision. Yeah. So how is what you're describing different from that approach? Okay, so what standard monovision is, is when we uh, correct one eye for the distance, and we correct one eye for here. Okay. And, you know, we've been doing that for quite a long time after cataract surgery. Then we started to do it after LASIK, but all of those patients complain of the same thing. And that is that in the intermediate range of vision, 
and in fact it's the range of vision that we use most, mm -hmm. uh, that's a problem. So computer screens can be a problem for those patients. They may be able to read very well here, they may see very far in the distance, but computer range vision and television range vision, that intermediate range is, is certainly very poor. Okay. So actually in terms of what, what, what Presbyon does there, it takes that that need, that weakness on intermediate vision, and it turns it into the absolute strength of Presbyon, which is where both eyes are in focus together in the intermediate range that we use most, uh, with also excellent distance vision and near vision as well. Okay, so there's a, a blending effect. Absolutely. And the, the brain is in fact almost doing, making the bridge between the one eye and the other eye. That's absolutely right. There's a huge amount of uh, of, of, of our vision is based upon our brain processing the visual information that comes into our eyes. Okay. So the world that we perceive is actually the brain's manipulation of the image and the light that's formed on our retina. Right. And so what Presbyon it does is it actually uses this brain's ability to blend together two slightly different images and create a three-dimensional in-focus world. Uh, so we're, we're using the brain's own, own mechanisms and strengths to do this. If you'd like to know more about vision correction surgery, give us a call and get started on your vision correction assessment. <laughs>